everything I'd built. After failing to save the Empress and being framed as her killer as Corvo, we now get a chance to follow the role of Dowd, the real assassin of the Empress of Dunwall, in the latest downloadable content for Arcane Studios' thief-inspired game, Dishonored. Is this finally the DLC that fans have been looking for? Let's find out. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. Starting out with the assassination of the Empress, you follow the character Dowd along his path that takes place during the same time Corvo escapes from his cell. Also being guided by the same mysterious man known as the Outsider, he is given the task to locate someone or something named Delilah. Throughout the story, you'll be aided by Dowd's second-in-command, Billy Lurk, who will give her opinions on situations and help guide you along your path. It's not a deep story, but it does do what it can to immerse the player into the shoes of a mysterious person named Dowd, whose name pops up from time to time in the main game. Of course, the story will end with sequel bait for the next DLC expansion that will finish off Dowd's story in an already announced The Brigmore Witches. Leading the player along, whale butchering plants accompanied by warm sunsets allows Knife of Dunwall to continue the artistic style of Dishonored. The textures may not be of the highest quality, but they work in the instance with their washed out feel. Many locations are dark and gloomy, much like the main game which adds to the poverty and plague ridden streets of Dunwall. There still seems to be odd texture pop-ins which are a bit distracting to the eye. Ones that we shouldn't be seeing especially on the PC, but unfortunately this tends to be the issue with Unreal 3 powered games. Also the frame rate seems to crumble when loading in from saves, after dying or reloading quick saves, which seems quite odd because aside from that, the game runs very smoothly. Dishonored Knife of Dunwall however still continues to nail the look of the world Arcane Studios has crafted. The further you plummet into your rampaging murder spree, the further Dunwall becomes infested with weepers and plague carrying rats that feast on the living or the dead. <laughs> Fans of the main game will feel right at home with Knife of Dunwall. You'll still be sneaking and skulking about as you progress throughout the plague-ridden streets of the city. Dowd gets a few new items up his sleeve as well. His blink ability allows the world around him to freeze if he's standing still, allowing him to teleport to cover or behind his foes for a swift takedown. You'll also be able to summon in a helpful assassin to take out enemies, similar to Assassin's Creed for when you're in a bind. Before each mission, you'll be able to purchase goods and equipment. There's now a new addition to the store called Favors, where you bribe workers on site to leave behind bone charms or key codes to safes in the area you're about to enter. These tend to be very inexpensive, and you start out with a lot of money to spend, so it almost seems silly not to take a few bribe offers. Assassination targets are also still in the game, and it's always a blast to figure out the most optimal routes to take. Having multiple options to tackle certain situations has always been one of the charms of Dishonored, and that is thankfully still here. Gives me a very bad feeling. Keep me informed, of course. Oh, sir, that might be worth checking out. Do you believe in witches? Shut up! Witches had nothing to do with this. Bone Charms and Ruins are back once again, and players will be able to scavenge for these the same way they did in the main game. Also, the game challenges you once again to get through the mission without being detected or killing anyone, which adds to quite a bit of replayability. The Knife of Dunwall offers the player a chance to come back to the world through a new character's eyes and assassinate some bad guys all over again for a good amount of time, lasting upwards to around 3-6 to six hours depending on your playstyle. I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know, I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? The Knife of Dunwall DLC for Dishonored gives us a different perspective on the real assassin that killed the Empress. 
this new content offers new challenges, new ways of approach on new targets all alongside a moderately interesting story. For a reasonable price for a great new amount of content, this is certainly the DLC that fans have been looking for. Dishonors the Knife of Dunwall DLC gets a 4 out of 5. Shit, I hope you ain't here for me. I'm just a little fish in a big pond. Thanks for watching my review. Did you get a chance to play the Knife of Dunwall DLC for Dishonored? We here at TGN want to know what you think, so post a comment below. But until next time, I'm Maccabine101, and I'll see you in the next review.